Okay, you're given a residence to work from as well as a farm. This is to thank you for helping out this community. Isn't that nice of them? In your house, you'll see you have a bed, which you'll save your game from, and an almighty chest to store items, combine items, re-equip, and it'll allow you to even sell directly from the chest itself. Putting in and taking out items is pretty easy. Combining items from the chest, well, I just covered that. Changing your equipment is going to be a big part of this game, as you'll always be getting more weapons and more armor pieces. If you have a cool set of armor that you want the ability to quick change into, say if you have a sword master set and then you also get a gunner set, well then you can register the whole set here. Then when you want a quick change, choose it from this selection. You can also move these sets around or even delete them. When you get to the higher rank armor sets, you can change the color of the armor. It's pink! This area is the bookshelf. You won't need to read the books here as you can't read Japanese, but it tells about the different monsters, different areas, and whatnot. But you can change things about your characters here. Say you want to change your character's hair color, or even their undies. You can do that right here. You can even change your piggy's clothing as you unlock new clothes. It's pink! And you know those movies that you've been unlocking as you play? Well, you can watch them from this area as well. And lastly is the kitty comrade board here. This is where you will select the kitties that will follow you into battle. And you may choose two. You can train them, equip them with weapons and armor that you make from the kitty general that sits in front of the blacksmith, teach them skills, or even relieve them of duty. You can leave to the guild hall through the right side here. Now the farm is there to help you not have to make so many gathering runs so that you can concentrate on killing monsters, which is why you're here, right? You can collect honey over here, collect fish here, gather mushrooms, and even mine in these cracks in the wall here. For the farming cat, give it some soil and something to plant and he'll grow it for you. For the bug catcher, you choose a kind of fragrance pot and something to help attract the bugs. Then, for both of them, every time you come back from a quest, they'll have something for you. Just garden it yourself and put it in your pouch, or send it to the chest, which is also at the entrance. As you proceed in the game, the farmer here might tell you that you can make an improvement to the farm. If it has a bug image, it'll prove the bug area. I mean, it's all pretty much common sense here. You improve the areas by accumulating points. Every time you go on a hunt or a gathering mission and you collect something extra that you don't get to keep from your trips, like certain fish, mushrooms, or whatnot, it'll be made into points. Use these points to improve the farm, or even use them to make hard-to-find items.